Hello everyone, I'm AJ Dish and welcome to this tutorial on how to draw a pink dog nose. I'm currently working on a husky commission, so I thought I would make a tutorial on how to draw the nose. I'll leave the reference photo next to me while I work. So for materials, I'm using some glassine paper to rest my hand on so that I don't smudge anything around. The paper is 12 by 15.5 inch Cl Clairefontaine pastel knot paper, and I'm using the Carbothella and Faber-Castell brands of pencils. I'll list all the colors and their numbers in the description for those of you who want to follow along or are curious. For blending, I have a blending stump and a color shaper, which I'll tell you more about later, and also I am using the white and black new pastel soft pastels for brighter colors. For a pink nose, I generally recommend deep purples, reds, pinks, light flesh, brown, warm grays, and blue. For the first layer, I'm not pressing down very hard, and I'm not being very careful either. I'm just taking each of my colors and putting them down about where I see them in my reference. You'll see I'm using a circular motion a lot of the time because I don't want any straight lines right now. Also, don't be afraid of putting colors that are too vibrant, or even colors that you aren't really sure exist, because you'll go over them in a little bit anyway. I'm not doing the nostrils in only black. First I put a dark grey, I think it was dark sepia, and then I put a red violet, and then I put the black pastel pencil. If you put only black, it will look flat. Also be aware that to really create the depth effect, you have to fade from your purples into your blacks. The whole nostril isn't going to be equally dark, so for my reference, I'm putting the black more near the center, and I'm including more purple toward the sides of the nostril. I'm trying to make it gradually go from purple to black, if that makes sense. Okay, so I still haven't blended yet. I'm putting all the colors that I see, and then I'll blend. Now I'm putting some darker values into the rest of the nose. Again, I'm using colors generously. If it really isn't working out in the end, then I can just go over it with a lighter color. Also, your pencil doesn't really have to be sharp for the first couple of layers. Later on, you'll want a sharp pencil. For that, I use cheap Stabilo handheld sharpeners that I can easily replace because all the blades are going to get dull pretty fast with pastels, and I prefer to replace the cheaper ones. Okay, so now I've got my blending stump out, and I'm basically just mixing all the colors while being careful to not muddy the light pink areas too much, and I'm trying not to mess up the nostrils. For the nostrils, just drag lightly some purple pastel into the black and vice versa, but only from that one side that you made lighter, as you can see I'm doing. You shouldn't be pushing very hard for the blending because you don't want all of your colors to be completely muted. Now I'm further darkening the nose with black in the shadowed areas. My goal is to make the whole thing just a little darker than the reference because in my last layer I'm going to add individual dots of highlight to the nose and I don't want it to be too bright.
Now that the colors are more accurate and I don't want the blending to muddy things up as much, I'm going to use my color shaper. As you can see, it's this tool with a plastic tip that you can get in art stores, and I find that it moves the color around better than the blending stump, especially because it doesn't absorb all the pastel. I highly recommend getting one of these. I'm being very gentle with it because I want to keep the detail that I have. I'm just smoothing things out. insides of the nostrils look fine as they are now, and you can keep them that way, but I love making them even darker with soft pastels. The one I'm currently using is the Black New Pastel. If you ever need to get a darker black, I recommend using soft pastels. Same goes with white. Especially when I've run out of a lot of layers and I need to keep adding things, I find that the solution is often to just get a set of soft pastels and then have that be your last layer. It's kind of a safety net. This way, when you run out of layers, you have the solution. You can fix the colors so that it, you don't mess up. Now it's time for the last layer. So everything's been pretty blended out and now I'm going to add the small little dots. I am using white but I'm also using um, pinks and black and browns for the other areas. So I'm just going to let some music play and you can watch me draw.
make sure to check out my other video about this husky. It's on how to draw white fur. If you have any suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see me make, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.